I got two maces. What you gonna do? Boy, if you don't... Battle Talent is a VR game that will give you the sense of nostalgia for Sword Art Online, even if you didn't watch the show or read the manga. Oh. The Hi. door to the House of Witnesses has opened. The game is meant to attempt to train you to be a mythical warrior that can cast spells that will make Gandalf blush, all while plundering the dungeons riddled with goblins and other grotesque yet scrumptious monstrosities. I don't know what these are, but we're using them. Alright. <laughs> these things are gats! Gats and blades, bitch! <laughs> This game can make Blade and Sorcery look like a warm-up session with Tyrese from prison. And if it manages to grab the attention, it deserves, honestly. Now picture this. You strap on your VR headset and suddenly you're in a world where your every movement is transformed into glorious, over-the-top swings that feel a bit unreal, acrobatic dodges, parkour even, and magic that would make David Copperfield want to come out of retirement. Ow! Fucking this guy. Fuck that guy. Actually, fuck that guy. Battle Talent is the kind of game that will make you forget you're in your living room to be dropped into a wet dream of pure chaos. Now imagine if this game had full body tracking. You'd be able to engage in battles using your entire body, flailing your limbs like the grudge easily breaks and contorting their arms and shit like that, or that other weird bitch with long black hair. The ring. The ring bitch. That lady. Every kick, every punch, and every twerk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, little booty rumpin, would become a seamless part of your virtual experience, leaving you sweaty, exhausted, and questioning the life choices you made that led you to this very moment. Eh. You like that? Make sure you censor this. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it sounds squishy. Huzzah! Goblin on a stick. Oh god. But hey, the workout is fairly nice. But alas, it does not have full body tracking, unfortunately. However, if it does in the future, I want to know. Especially finger tracking, because it doesn't have finger tracking and it makes me kind of sad as an index player. Restart the game. Maybe I'll get my finger tracking if it has finger tracking. I hope it does. Please, please God, please almighty, please get, give me finger tracking. No, no finger tracking. Why? Why can't I finger track, man? I just want to track my fingers. Speaking of index, by the way, for some reason, I encountered some really weird issues using the Knuckles controllers, these here. Felt like I had to death grip my controllers like Harambe did the child in the pen just to pick up an item with my left controller. My left only. My right, perfectly fine. Don't know why. Now, I don't have the strength of a gorilla to where my hands won't show red, but it did for this game. I feel like Anakin Skywalker when fighting these little goblins. It felt like I had the callus of Arnold Schwarzenegger in this prime. My hands were destroyed after a while. I, I feel really weird saying his name every time. It's so close, man. So close. God. Look at his health. It's like about the size of my fucking dick. It's so small. Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And let's not forget about the physics. Battle talent with even more advanced physics than what it already has wouldn't be like unleashing a horde of deranged toddlers in a china shop. You know what I'm talking about. You'd be swinging your weapon and feeling its weight in your very being, smashing through the walls like the Kool-Aid man on a rampage or like Link with those accursed pots everywhere. That never ending quest to destroy pots. Feel it in my bones playing this game. It's like an itch you need to scratch for a VR game. It's kind of like a necessity at this point. The magic also feels good, but you know what's even better? The in-game mod IO menu, which I stumbled upon myself from talking to a weird golden dog that reminded me of Smile Dog and a clown having a child, which looked creepy as fuck. Oh, it's you. I can call it the menu with your right hand as well. Okay. Bye. Oh, scary clown dog died. Alright, what the fuck did I just witness? The mod manager felt seamless and it felt great to install mods without having to go through a computer. I know Blade and Sorcery has it now, but it didn't before and I can feel the pain from it on the tip of my scrotum hairs. I can feel it. It's resonating through my hairs as we speak. The UI also could use some love, but really though, it's, it gets the job done and it's it's alright. It's alright for now. I know I praise the physics a bit, but the movement can sometimes feel a bit off, but overall, it's still pretty good. For example, you can move quickly, but when you want to stop 
stop. It's more sudden stop. It just feels a little weird, but don't let that discourage it. This game is pretty fucking cool. Oh, the great sword of Artorius. And what makes the experience even better, though, is that it's a fully immersive dungeon crawler. Even if you get mods, you can enable modded weapons and other odds and ends, and they will appear in the dungeon as a natural occurrence. Whether it's in a chest, or on an enemy, or anything else. Ooh, chest! If this shit was mimics and shit, I would cry. If this actually had mimics, I think I'd be terrified. <laughs> and I would be okay with it. But here's the kicker. Battle talent needs the attention like a squirrel fiending on nuts. You know, those really fat ones in the park that are almost depressed but just love the nuts too much. Yeah, those, the ones that just don't stop eating. It's a hidden gem just waiting to be embraced. Blade and Sorcery fans will get a kick out of battle talent. It may not have all that extreme advanced physics like Blade and Sorcery, but everything else really outweighs that. So I suggest you give battle talent a chance. Embrace the darkness. Darkness? Why did I say it like that? Embrace the darkness and the oddly similar SAO similarities, like, uh, moths to a flame. What? Okay, so you literally just grab them and just... And literally just tear them apart. Alright. It's like I'm playing Legos. Yeah! Get Shrek on! Now, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to do the stuff and things with the like and the subscribe button. Comment a skull emoji for me if you got a kick out of it. With all that being said, I shall see you in the next one or on stream. I might even play some battle talent. Who knows? Bye-bye. Take care. I'm gonna go now.